Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Tank manufacturers always put their armament, security, and mobility in the forefront, because these are really the main characteristics of the vehicle. But there is another such important component as the rate of fire, because each tank spends different times on reloading, and this is sometimes decisive. Therefore, we decided to prepare for you a selection of the 10 best tanks in terms of rate of fire. Arjun Mk2 The Arjun Mk2 is an improved version of the original Indian Arjun main battle tank. A total of 13 major improvements were made. The Arjun Mk2 has some design similarities with the German Leopard 2A5 main battle tank. It is claimed that the new Indian tank weighs a whopping 68 tons. There are many problems with its excessive weight, such as limited cross-country mobility, limiting areas where it can be deployed. The hull and turret of the Arjun Mk2 were redesigned. Protection was improved by improved Kanshan armor. Also, locally developed explosive reactive armor modules were added. This new main battle tank is armed with a fully stabilized 120mm rifle gun, which is loaded manually. The tank can fire 6 to 8 rounds per minute. BM Oplot M The Ukrainian Oplot M is a further development of the previous Oplot, which is based on the T-84. This tank was revealed in 2008. It is an improved version rather than entirely new design. The Oplot M is fitted with duplet built-in explosive reactive armor of new generation that protects against tandem warheads. The Oplot M is armed with a 125mm fully stabilized smoothbore gun, fitted with a carousel-type autoloader. The vehicle is capable of firing 9K-119M reflex-gun-launched anti-tank guided missiles. These missiles are launched in the same manner as ordinary munitions. Maximum range of fire is 16,400 feet, 5,000 meters. The tank's rate of fire is up to 8 rounds per minute. M1A2 Abrams The M1A2 Abrams is a further development of the M1A1. Currently, it is one of the best MBTs in the world. About 1,200 to 1,500 M1A2 tanks were delivered to the U.S. Army. The Abrams is protected by Chobham Composite Armor. Protection of the M1A2 was improved by using depleted uranium mesh at the front of the hull and turret. It offers significant protection against all known anti-tank weapons. However, all weight increased compared to the M1A1. The tank is armed with the M256 120mm smoothbore gun, originally developed by Rheinmetall and manufactured under license in USA. This gun is loaded manually. Such gun-loaded systems are more reliable than auto-loaders used on some other tanks, and the rate of fire is up to 8 rounds per minute. T-90M The T-90M is an improved version of the T-90 tank. Sometimes this tank is referred to as ProRiv-3. It was first publicly revealed in 2017. It has a number of improvements over the original T-90. The T-90M was trialed by the Russian Army in 2017. The upgraded T-90M tank has improved armor protection. It uses relic built-in explosive reactive armor in place of the previous Contact 5. It provides protection against tandem warheads and significantly reduces penetration of APF-SDS rounds. The T-90M is armed with a new 2A46M4 gun, which has longer range and is 15-20% to more accurate than the standard gun of the 2A46M gun of the T-90. It uses the same 125mm ammunition as other Russian main battle tanks. The T-90M is capable of launching 8 rounds in a minute. Merkava Mk-4 The Merkava Mk-4 entered service with Israel Defense Force in 2004. It is a further development of the Merkava Mk-3. A total of 360 of these tanks have already been built and another 300 have been ordered by Israeli Defense Forces. The Merkava Mk-4 is one of the most protected tanks in the world. It has new modular armor that can be reconfigured to match specific threats. The bottom of the hull has been strengthened for better protection against landmines. The tank features an improved 120mm smoothbore gun, developed by Israel Military Industries. This gun is designed to sustain higher pressure, generating higher muzzle velocity. 
This tank can fire various 120mm rounds, including Lahad anti-tank missiles. Also, it can fire all standard NATO munitions. The Merkava Mk4 can fire at a rate of 8 rounds per minute. Leopard 2 Development of the Leopard 2 began in 1970. It was just a couple of years after the previous Leopard 1 entered service. The first production batch of 30 tanks was completed in 1979, and the Leopard 2 was adopted by the West German Army during the same year. The Leopard 2A7 is a modernized version of the Leopard 2A6 main battle tank. The main features of this new upgrade of the Leopard 2 include new armor, an energy system, a crew compartment cooling system, and a new weapon engagement system. The tank's primary weapon is a 120mm L55 L44 smoothbore gun which can fire standard NATO ammunitions and new programmable 120mm HE rounds. Smoke grenade launchers can be mounted on either side of the weapon station to conceal the tank from enemy observation. The rate of fire of the tank is 8 to 9 rounds per minute. Challenger 2 The Challenger 2 was developed as a private venture to replace the previous Chieftain tank in service with the British Army. It is a further development of the Challenger. This main battle tank provides a very high level of protection against direct fire weapons. The Challenger 2 uses Chobum composite armor of second generation. It is lighter than the original Chobum, but offers better protection. The tank is fitted with a new L30E4 120mm rifled gun. It is capable of firing a wide variety of standard NATO 120mm tank munitions. This gun is loaded manually. Effective range of fire with armor-piercing rounds is over 9,840 feet, 3,000 meters. The tank's rate of fire is up to 10 rounds per minute. T-14 Armada The T-14 Armada is a new generation main battle tank developed by Russian company Uralva Gonzova. It was officially unveiled for the first time during the Moscow Victory Day Parade in May 2015. The hull is equipped with a modular armor system made of steel, ceramics, and composite materials. The low silhouette of the tank avoids exposition of the parts to enemy fire, which significantly enhances the safety and survivability of the crew. The crew capsule is isolated from the automatic loader and ammunition to increase crew survivability during explosions. The T-14 Armada is fitted with an unmanned turret mounting a 125mm 2A82 1M smoothbore gun fed by an automatic loader. The turret carries a total of 45 rounds of ammunition, including ready-to-use ammunition. The rate of fire of the tank is 10 to 12 rounds per minute. AMX-56 Leclerc The Leclerc was developed by Giat Industries as a successor to the AMX-30 series tanks. Its development began in 1978, and the first prototypes were built in 1989. A total of 406 of these tanks were built for the French Army. It is protected with advanced modular armor systems, which can be tailored to the threat. Its armor is a combination of steel, ceramics, and Kevlar. Damaged modules are easily replaceable. Furthermore, they can be easily upgraded with more advanced armor modules. The Leclerc is armed with a CN-12026 120mm smoothbore gun, 52 caliber long. This gun is fitted with a bustle-mounted autoloader, holding 22 rounds. A remaining 18 rounds are stored in a carousel-type storage area in front of the hull. The autoloader provides a maximum rate of fire in 12 to 15 rounds per minute. K2 Black Panther The K2 Black Panther evolved from the XK2 program. This next-generation tank was developed in South Korea using indigenous technology only. In 2016, a first batch of 100 tanks was reportedly delivered and additional tanks were being built. Currently, the K2 is one of the most advanced main battle tanks in the world, outclassing anything North Korea or China have. This tank uses both modular composite armor of undisclosed type and explosive reactive armor blocks. It is claimed that front armor withstands direct hits from 120mm tank rounds fired from L-55 guns. The Black Panther is armed with a Rhine Metal 120mm L-55 smoothbore gun. This gun is licensed produced in South Korea. This tank has a maximum rate of fire of 15 rounds per minute. That's all friends. Thanks for watching. 
Write in the comments which of these tanks you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.